Hello, welcome, Devil Snipe here. This is episode number 13 of our live career mode with Newcastle United. We're going to go into a squad report because it is December the 1st. Hopefully a few players have gone up. Again, Krull is still only plus one. I'm surprised he hasn't gone up. He's He's been sensational. He's made so many decent saves. Ryan Taylor on a plus one still. Uh, fantastic player. Had a couple of really decent free kicks from him against uh, Southampton, I believe. And we uh, failed to score, which is a great shame. And wow, really? Come on, why? Why? I don't even want to talk about it. That's disgusting. Mbiwa is uh, plus two still. I'm surprised it's gone up. A few of these players haven't gone Oh, at last. Kibai has gone up. That is good. He's improving. Really enjoying using him. He's a solid player. <laughs> Gardner has gone up. He's now scored four goals for his. And they've all been pretty decent goals, to be fair. Suzuko still plus four. Cisse hasn't gone up. I'm surprised about that. Um, who else has gone up? Anybody? Plus four. Nice. No, what he went up last time. No one's really sort of um, overly improved. I'm quite surprised about that, to be honest. I'm still astounded that Krull has not gone up. He, sh he should be going up. I mean, he's playing really, really, really well. I mean, he's made so many fantastic bloody saves. It is redonkulous how many decent saves he's actually made. But I am slightly pissed about Colaccini. That is a bit of a devastating blow. Ain't gonna lie. <sighs> ridiculous. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's get into the squad. Let's get into the team. I'm going to put... Sissoko there. Vinaldum there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to sim the Wigan game. I'm going to take a risk. I know it's a risk, but I, at the same time, I want to get a move on with the career mode. Um, it's a home game, so I'm, I'm happier to sim the Wigan game than I am the uh, Fulham game. So, I'm hoping home home preference, the fact that they've, they lost 3-1, 1-3-1, drew 1-1, one, one, perhaps, in some logical way, we're going to win 2-0. 3-0 would be nice. They're playing a 4-3-3. That's probably another reason why I don't want to play them. God, I didn't realise they played 4-3-3. That would be devastating. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the victory. Yes, 1-0 after 6 minutes penalty. Yellow card for Santon after 12 minutes. Moving into the last stages of the first half. They have equalised. Bollocks. We have taken the lead. That's Taylor. Bet that was a bloody free kick. We're now 3-1 up. Van Alden has got to go after 47 minutes. Moving into the last stages of the game. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. One more goal be nice. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. 3-1 will do, 3-1 will do, 3-1 will do, 4-1, yes, get in there, Van Alden with his second goal of the game after 87 minutes, I'm deadly happy with that, that is fan-bloody-tastic, a 4-1 victory, awesome, 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 very good, ah, oh. Taylor, oh, I bet that was a free kick, Blaine handball, what the hell is he talking about, he needs to go to spec savers. Clearly not a handball. So at this moment in time, we are sitting proudly in second position. 14 games, 31 points, which is really nice. Fast forward it, obviously, to the Fulham game. And then we can uh, get into that game and uh, hopefully pick up a free kick and pick up a goal. Um, didn't I turn that down in the last episode? Positive I did. So the media is way behind the times, as per normal, because they're a crap media. Well, West Ham beat Chelsea 2-1. Well, not surprised, really. Easy game from what I heard. Absolutely easy game. Where are West Ham? They've got West Ham in nine, uh, 19th. Jesus Christ. Chelsea mid-table. Hmm. Bizarre. Bizarre the logic of EA. Please don't be raining. Overcast. That's a positive. That is a positive. Um, wow, they've, lost their, they've won their last three games. Damn. This could be a really tough game. They play a 4-2-3-1, so I expect them to be uh, quite well organised. Sidwell and Diara in their CDM roles. So this could be a tough game. Hopefully we pick up a positive, which is three points. We need three points desperately. Absolutely desperately. So hopefully we will pick up three much-needed points. We'll have to wait and see. Let's fast forward this bit. We don't need to look at the league table. If we've just seen it. Well, we haven't, but you know where we are. So that's good enough. 
Let's get into this. Come on. Come on, boys. Do the biz. Do the biz, biz, biz. So, is anyone that's playing around with the uh, FIFA 14 web app for Ultimate Team? I've done a few bits on it. I've sort of uh, opened my packs. I'm, I'm not sure by the time this video goes up if I would have released that video or um, or held on to it. But I will be releasing uh, obviously what I get in my starter pack and what I get in my free packs from EA. Um, I'm not going to do a trading. I, I think trading is going to be difficult for FIFA 14. To be honest, I know it's going to be difficult because... FIFA 13 last year it seemed really easy to begin with to make coins and to trade. FIFA 14 so far has just seemed really really difficult. But I'm not going to be doing like an immense amount of Ultimate Team videos as I did like with FIFA 13. I didn't really do too many. I done um, my journey to the top, which is only for a couple of seasons. I then done um, Silvers to Division One, um, which was fantastic. I really enjoyed Silvers to Division One because I won every division at the first time of asking, including the. D Division 1 which was so much fun I really enjoyed that had a very very overpowered pacey abusing past amazingly team it was a, it was probably one of the best teams I've played with I really did love my silver BPL side very sweaty and at the same time if you wanted to play nice football you could with constant and ease because I had some absolutely sensational players and I didn't pass the fucking ball there because I was talking and rambling about ultimate fucking team frustrating so um I'm not going to be doing any trading videos, but what I might do is um, show you my trading to uh, my Serie A side because I'm only going to be building a few sides. I'm not going to be going mental and building um, sort of 15 or 16 or 19 teams. I think I had at one point in uh, Ultimate Team 13. And uh, to be honest, with you, when Ultimate Team first came out, I spent the first sort of three months of Ultimate Team not actually playing a game. I just traded, constantly traded, which can be really boring all I basically done was like play say Gears of War or um, Call of Duty or whatever I was playing and in the background I'd have the web app on my PC and just literally trade you know hour trades at a time and um, work my way up that way but I'm not going to be doing that this year because Ultimate Team seems really co oh hold on that's a fucking awful ball John you absolute shit fuck I oh, now I've got I can't get the ball out of me f yes it's got to be a goal no of course not um I'm not going to be able to break into Ultimate Team. I'm more I'm career mode. Let's be honest. Um, Ultimate Team's way more competitive. They get career modes getting competitive. There's a lot of really good career mode channels out there. So uh, I'm more based around career mode um, than Ultimate Team. I will be doing a lot of uh, let's talk football while playing Ultimate Team. But I'm not going to be doing a Pacific series with Ultimate Team, like a Road to Glory or anything like that. I'll probably do sort of a, a let's talk to Glory where we just play. Um, games and see if we can get to Division One and win Division One, but that, you know you'll see a multitude of sides. Like, well, I say a multitude. You'll see three or four teams. That's that's literally all I'm going to build in FIFA 14. So you'll probably see the same players being used over and over. But it's more of a, a let's talk series than actually like a road. I'm now just pissing about with the ball. This is fucking annoying. I need to score because I'm talking. There we go. That's what happens when I ramble. That's why I play better when I have no distractions, when I don't have to record for YouTube, when I can just say, bang up iTunes, stick some tunes on any old lug holes, and um, listen to some biblical music, and chill, and I can play so much better. So much better. It's frustrating when I talk, because uh, I just get carried away, and I, I just knock the ball around, because I know I have the ability to pass the ball around. Oh my God. Shut up, John. Just shut up. Fucking hell. What's he do? Oh, here we go. Look, the slow march to the line. This is where I want to be able to put in the background the uh, Star Wars death march. Good God. That's it. Come on, fella. Oh, wow. You have to put your big boy shoes on. Take bigger steps, lad. Jesus. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing overly too much with Ultimate Team, but there, there will be, like I said, there will be a few videos because I want to be doing Let's Talks and just... Talking about stuff in general, talking about football, talking about the channel, talking about what's coming, just generally talking. I enjoy talking, so why not do uh, do videos to me talking? Obviously, I'm going to be doing a few things with other games. Um, I know it might piss people off. I can't be bothered with the whole second channel thing. To me, that's just money whoring, and I, I'm not about that. You know, if one person watches one of my Call of Duty videos, then I'm very grateful for that one person but I'm not going to stick it up on a second channel I can't be 
I can't generally. I'm not going to mince my words. I can't be fucked. I can't be asked. Um, this is my main channel. This is my only channel. I want to stick it on my channel. It's that simple. I don't want 38 different fucking channels for one for me for doing vlogging, which I'm not going to do because I don't really like vlogs. So I don't see the point of it. My face was made for fucking radio. It wasn't made for TV. On top of that, I don't particularly want to have a, a Let's Play channel because there's too much shit to worry about and I can't be bothered and it just interferes and if I upload if I upload a Call of Duty video I'll upload a FIFA video so it, it outweighs the positive to the negative so it's not going to be as if I'm going to upload a Call of Duty video and not upload a FIFA video so I don't understand why people cry about it I just don't want too many channels I can't be bothered with it to be honest it's just I have this channel upload to this channel you know if I get a multitude of subscribers who enjoy Call of Duty content and a bit of FIFA or FIFA subscribers who enjoy a little bit of Call of Duty content that's a win-win situation surely for me anyway so um that's my stance on it. That's the way it's going to rock and roller. So, um, yeah, it's that simple, really, at the end of the day. It is that bloody simple. Come on, we need to get the second goal. We're playing really, really well. We're just not taking the bloody chances. Get the head up. Get the head up. Goodbye. Pick the ball up, son. Mbiwa into Teote. Teo, not renowned for his... Oh, turn. See, say, you've got a nice turn there, son. What a block. Jesus Christ. That was a world-class block. But yet another corner. Surely this is the one that's going to go in for Colaccini. Oh, he take Penalty. Yes. Get in there, referee. Now send the keeper off. Come on, you silver fox. Send off the keeper. No, okay, don't bother. So, who has the best penalties? Cissé's got 78. Ben Arthur's got 79. Goodbye's got an 82. Got fucking hiccups out of nowhere. Goodbye's going to stand up and take this. Come on, boys. Top left corner. Oosh. Sorry, Fulham fans, but yes. Oh, yes. Great penalty. Get in there. Do enjoy scoring. Yes. Corbar, 2-0. This is good, boys. This is good. This is good. This is really freaking good. And it's half time. Get in there. Even better. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I am going to be doing a little bit on Call of Duty Ghosts uh, when that comes out on um, Xbox One. I don't think I'm going to get it on the Xbox 360. Because um, I've ordered the Harden Edition on Xbox One. That's like $94.99, which is a ridiculous amount of freaking money. But I'm going to invest in a lot of time into that game. So, uh, mm, it's going to be interesting how I balance everything because uh, I really do want to start playing games more and just... Um, creating videos and uploading to YouTube because part of my hobby is gaming not just YouTube so um, we'll have to see how it all balances out how I balance it out because I do work a shed load of hours but then again saying that by the time everything comes out it could have all bloody changed due to uh, due to a number of factors to be honest but I'm not going to go into that because um, you don't need to know about it and you probably don't want to know about it so uh, I ain't going to talk about it it's that simple that is the way we are for fuck's sake Come on, put your big boy shoes on. It's the second time. It's the same player from the... Because, yeah, because in the first half, it's the opposite side of the pitch, so it's the same player. He needs to put on his big boy shoes. Look at him. Oh, my God. Give me fucking strength. That's it. Come on, take take bigger steps, you mug. Come on. That's Kieran Richardson, isn't it, number 15? Wow. <sighs> Twice in the same game, EA. Twice in the same game. No, I'm not the sort of person to moan at you. I ain't going to moan at you. I ain't going to moan at you, EA. Really not going to moan at you. I just hope you fixed it in FIFA 14. Really, really do. Really, really do. Dear, oh dear. What can you... Do? Oh, Chiquitiote. Oh, I'm trying to work an angle for him to shoot. Ref a Rick Taylor. No, 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 no. Stop. No. Stop. Taylor. Come on, it's got to be destiny. We've got to get one of these in one day. Come on, Taylor. This is the moment, fella. This is the moment. Perhaps we should now play the Star Wars Death March because that was shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I want to score a free kick with him. It's not going to be the greatest goal in the world, but it's not the point. I want to score a goal with him. Oh my god, where's the movement? Where's the fucking movement? Really not impressed the way we're playing. We've got hardly any 
Ah, uh, any movement, I couldn't get around him. Hardly any movement, really frustrating. I don't want to put it on an attack or anything because we are two 0 up. I don't want to, I don't want to push me luck. I don't want to concede a goal when that gives them the whole impetus to attack, attack, attack. I want to keep the the game two 0 I like to keep a clean sheet. If I'm honest, a clean sheet would be really nice. Can't remember the last time we had a clean sheet. Oh my god, corner! Whoever got a foot on that, I am grateful to. See, that's my thoughts with Ultimate the Team. I'm not going to be doing uh, a whole Road to Glory. Just going to be doing a Let's Talk to uh, Glory, as I say. <laughs> See if we can get through the 10 divisions and um, just play and uh, use me four teams that I'm hoping, hoping to build. It's going to take a while to build them because, as I say, I'm not going to do what I've done on Ultimate Team 13, which is just trade for for a stupid amount of time before I start playing games. So I had a nice team and it was easier to make coins. And I think FIFA 14 is going to be a lot more competitive on the trading front. Um, especially with so many more videos about how to trade, etc., uh, etc., et what tricks to use. Ah, oh, fucking air shot! Really, Suzuko? Really? F fucking hell! So yeah, there'll be a let's talk, which is basically Ultimate Team esque. I'm not really gonna break into the Ultimate Team market. It's way, way, way more competitive. I want to keep to what I fucking can see the goal. Well, to what I know, which is obviously. Career mode and hopefully do a good job on career mode and keep people enjoying career mode with uh, my journey, Cole U and uh, West Ham United. Hopefully that will be pretty cool. But obviously there will be a delay with West Ham because um, we're having a little bit of a break and I want to get everything sort of pucker, spot on. Because that's going to be building and creating a new history. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And I think everyone would like a little bit of a break from it. And we have done sort of six seasons. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I have started to record Season 7, but you know, Grand Theft Auto is coming out, and I really want to do a Let's Play on Grand Theft Auto, and I really want to play Grand Theft Auto. So um, making videos and doing it is something that really excites me. Um, otherwise, I would be, be hammering the fuck out of that game. So I'm, I don't think I can deliver a, season, a full Season 7 in no oh, shit the bed. in nine days prior to FIFA 14. Fuck me. Sideways with a brush. <sighs> Cruising. Cruising. We have gone from cruising to taking a severe freaking bruising. Well, that's the changes I'm making. Fuck. Not impressed. Damn it. Damn it. Oh well, let's see what we can do. We've got uh, nine minutes to uh, somehow, somehow dig out a result. You know, a, a draw's a draw, but we're in control. We we need these three points. Oh no, of course. When he spills it, he would spill it over him. Yes, yes, yes. That makes logical sense. You wouldn't palm it into Gardner's path. Oh, what? You've got to be kidding me! Oh, he got the fist to it as well. I've got a gut feeling they're going to get the third. I really have got that feeling. I can't believe that header. What a save. And that shot and the rebound. It just, oh my day, is all going against us now, isn't it? Gardner, roll it, shoot, has got to be. And he saved it. No, come on. Oh, get a good corner in. Goodbye. Goodbye! Oh! Goodbye the post. Goodbye the post. Well, we've had enough chances in the last nine minutes of the game to win this. I have no idea how we haven't. Really, really don't. Go for... Oh! 
fucking at the bar. The game is going against us. I really, come on. God, yes. The amount of pressure we just pummeled onto Fulham in the last final minutes of this game has been astounding. And Gardner with an absolute rocket launcher of a shot. <laughs> if that had missed and hit someone in the crowd, they would have probably died. It was that hard and that fast. If they were eating a pie, it would be all over their face. That's for sure. That was a hell of a shot. <sighs> their keeper has been pretty damn epic. He really has kept him in this game, but 3-2. Uh, I can't believe it's got to 3-2. Goufran's even had a couple of opportunities. Gardner just got in his way. Oh, here we go, Gardner. One more. Go on. Oh, oh. Heavy touches. Heavy touches. <laughs> Could have just made it 4-2 and made it a lot more comfortable. But the referee has thankfully blown that full-time whistle, which I'm very grateful for. 3-2 victory. We had to dig that out. We were a cruising 2-0 up until the 76th minute. When Berbatov went huge on our arse and made it 2-2. Uh, he looked a bit disgruntled there, to be fair. Somehow we dug deep and uh, battered them, which I'm really, really chuffed with. That was a tough game in the end. Shouldn't have been a tough game. We should have cruised it at 2-0. Uh, we should have been looking to make it 3 or 4-0 or just holding on to the ball. But we didn't, unfortunately. We had to struggle, but we still managed to win the game, which, as I say, I'm deadly chuffed. Deadly chuffed with... And that's done us the world of good. We are still sitting in third position in the, in the Premier League table. City have got oh no, equal games with us. So we've got a game in hand on uh, the likes of United, QPR, uh, Liverpool, etc. Arsenal are starting to make a move. Fulham have dropped. Spurs have moved up. Chelsea have dropped. Everton have moved up, realistically. That's um, well, it's not going to be a good season for the old Chelsea fans, to be fair. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you later. So